this is another update video. I've completed the base cabinet and configured everything that needs to be configured. We have three different types of ends on either end and up to four panels or none and the width it will go from 16 inches to I haven't set an upper limit but I'm gonna set it at uh, either 8 or 10 feet I'm guessing 8 feet don't really make too many 10 foot long cabinets I have adjustable materials here that aren't set up yet full set of Amana um, these are the door profiles the door and the end panels might as well change one of those change it to this one here that'll take a while to update because we got we got four four doors on here and the two end panels oh, didn't take too long takes uh, quite a bit of time if I were to change this to flat panel because all of these become flush inset panels takes quite a bit of time once I have this set up with the Confinity, Confinity Configurator, hard to say that, um, things should go a little bit smoother. I'm waiting on a 64-bit version of the Configurator. They have the 32-bit version out right now. I can't go too much further with this until I get that because, as you can see, these are the adjustments for when this is set at an adjustable setting like this for adjustable then you can adjust the the door widths or the opening widths to whatever you want them the final one is just whatever it ends up being but in order to keep going um, to have hinge configurations, drawer configurations, drawer guide configurations, this would end up becoming a gigantic list and everything gets thrown in there in the next space. There's no way to order this so it'll just become a big mess. It's a lot better to just wait for the configurator to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. I, I need to make some hinges and other stuff. They they don't have any online anywhere and I'll add them to the BIM area when I do that there's I have some Fasten Master um, structural fasteners over there now I did a full set of Fasten Master stuff a couple weeks ago so you can find that in the BIM area uh, that's it for now I'll be updating this shortly when I get the drawers and all that other stuff configured and then I'm gonna pop a couple of these into the little eco house model configure them and I'll have a kitchen I'll have to do the output to cam if I can ever get a hold of somebody at Sigma Nest they don't they're not real responsive but I'll get a hold of them sooner or later. That's it for now. I'll check back with you when I got some more to show.